Okay, so the last phrase of Water Zakowski, basically the last two bars of the fourth line. We're going to start from the D, the end of the second bar of the line. Um, people get a little bit sort of confused by this, but basically, for your notes, the more tails a note has, the shorter it is, okay? So you'll notice that your grace notes have three little tails, you know, and we know they are quite short notes, yeah, you play them quite quickly. Okay, so all this means is that this C, because it's got two tails, is really rather short. Okay, so we play from D, G grace note to a very short C, and then up to E. And this short E is tied together to a longer E to make a long E. Okay, so basically, practice that movement on its own first of all. So from the D... Okay, and listen out for making sure there's no crossing noise between your C and your E. So you don't want you don't want the low A sound in the middle. Okay, you want to get it nice and clean, which basically is achieved by making sure that your E finger lifts early enough, like that. Okay, and then after that, it's absolutely nothing new from the E C doubling. G grace note to B, and then one of these little low G strikes to low A at the end. And then we hold this low A out for a full beat before finally finishing the tune with a barrel on the way. Okay, so from the very beginning of the phrase, from the D, after two, one, two. Okay, we'll try that one more time. One, two. Okay, so once you've got each phrase of the tune confidently played with each lesson video, then you're ready to put each line together, join the phrases up, and eventually join the whole tune together. Okay, but just for now, Practice it one phrase at a time until you're comfortable with each phrase and then you can start joining it all together and get the tune memorised ready for transferring onto bagpipes. Okay, good luck everybody!